May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. May we shout for joy over your victory and lift up our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. Now this I know, the Lord gives victory to his anointed. He answers him from his heavenly sanctuary with the victorious power of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought to their knees and fall, but we rise up and stand firm. Lord, give victory to the King. Answer us when we call. Let me begin this reflection by asking you a question. Do you trust God? Did you say yes? Good. Let me ask you another question. Do you worry about your family, your finances, your health, your job, your future, your security, your life? If you answered yes to this too, it doesn't matter how forcefully you declared you trust God. You don't. You put your faith in your own abilities or resources or in somebody else or something else and because there is no assurance of success, you worry. But David knew better. In David's time, wars were fought with horses and chariots and most rulers believed that strong horses and well-equipped chariots won battles. However, David saw that these were merely superficial realities. The real decider of victory was God, and being the wise man he was, David put his faith in him. And God honored that faith time and time again. And David wasn't the only person with such faith. The Old Testament is littered with similar men. One was another king named Jehoshaphat. Once, three armies, the Moabites, the Ammonites, and the Meonites, waged war against him. Jehoshaphat promptly dropped to his knees in prayer. And it wasn't long before God answered him. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up your positions. Stand firm and see the deliverance the Lord will give you. Do not be afraid and do not be discouraged. Jehoshaphat won the war without having to fire a single arrow. Read the incredible story in 2 Chronicles 20. Many years later, Jesus would advise us, Do not worry about your life, what you will eat or about your body, what you will wear, for life is more than food and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens. They do not sow or reap. They have no storeroom or barn, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable are you than birds? Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to your life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? So let us be like David, not worrying, but trusting God to give us victory, and he will. God be with you. Do you trust God? If yes, do you worry? Do you realize the inherent contradiction because, if we trust God, how can we worry? Think about that today. Please read the psalm from your Bible before you sleep, and try to memorize one verse in it that touched your heart to make these reflections more meaningful. To subscribe to this podcast, please WhatsApp plus 919082101605. Thank you for watching.